Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. So you're planning to change your mouse with the Samsung Tech Setup, but you're thinking which one to get and you found out online that Logitech MX Master is probably the best mouse you can buy. Let me show in this video which buttons do work on Samsung Dex and which doesn't. So I hope this video will help you to choose if this mouse is a right thing for you. Straight away, uh, this mouse, I can tell you, is super mouse. I mean, I'm so happy that I purchased it. It's very comfortable for me to hold in the hand while I'm using it. I had uh, a bit of a couple of days to getting used to it because that's what I was using before. It's a Microsoft Designer Bluetooth mouse. So compared to Logitech and Max Master, so this is more like a like a sports car and this is more like a super tank on the steroids and basically it's like a battleship with the maximum maximum power. So I had to uh, slightly, uh, let's say, spend a couple of days to adapt to this kind of shape of the mouse and use it the way to, I need to use it. But right now I loving this device. It's amazing. The battery life is superb. I mean, it's, I am not regretting purchasing this mouse. One of the buttons on this mouse works on Samsung Dex in the way that I expect and it's helping me a lot do my work with Samsung Dex. So let's start with the, the buttons. Basically, um, nothing special from the top. We have left and right click. We have a scroll wheel. We have a button which releases a scroll wheel into a, like a free spin mode and when I press again it goes into a as you can hear it goes into a some sort and it's gonna go into a brakes in a second as you heard there is a brake so it goes in and it starts clicking through but when I spin fast enough it's gonna go in a free spin so it helps me a lot when I need to go for long documents and uh, just to see what's going on so let's say if I open the reddit Samsung Dex reddit sub uh, group and I want to quickly go all the way down to the page. I just press one and just keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling until it stops. And then as you can see, it can go up and down just with one spin and it's going to keep scrolling up and down depending on that. Uh, the, the other extra buttons we have on the, on the left side, we have the button here underneath the thumb, which basically it does something on Samsung Dex, but I can't really see anything use, useful. As you can see, it's right now selecting this app. It's, it's acts more like a tab. It acts more like a tab, and uh, I don't really uh, basically see the see the option of using it unless if I press the Windows key on the keyboard. If I press the Windows key on the keyboard and press that button, it opens opens the what's what's running a background background app. So it's pretty much I would say it does the same as a tab button on the keyboard. So, but I'm not using it because I feel that a, a Windows tab button is much faster for me to press and it's slightly more comfortable instead of me trying to basically press with the, my thumb and hold it for a couple of seconds until I pick up the app. Other buttons on the left hand side, we have back and forward button. They do work on Samsung Dex. So if I open up the Samsung Dex server group page and let's say open one of the posts, I press the back button and it go back. If I press forward button, it goes forward so forward button acts as a forward button and the back button is more like an android back button so if i keep pressing back button it's just going to go all the way to a home page so the same as on your phone when you're using on your phone you have a back button it's basically the same thing and now the horizontal scroll wheel which is my most favorite feature of this mouse if i go for example into excel excel is basically one of the apps that i use a lot for my work while I'm using Dex. So let's quickly just fill in some details here. So just for you easier to see what's going on. So I have some data on my Excel and I need to basically check what's outside the screen. So what I used to do, use the D-pad, the arrow keys on a keyboard. So I'll go all the way to the right, find information, check it what it says, then go all the way to the left. So using arrows left and right was, it's, it do work, don't get me wrong, but it's are just annoying for me. I just can't be bored with pressing back left and right just and sometimes when I go all the way to the right okay find the data okay memorizing etc checking if that's the same it's a bit too much things for me to do. Horizontal wheel does work in the Excel so if I'm gonna using the horizontal wheel as you can see I'm scrolling all the way to the right then to the left and it's quite fast to be honest so okay check back check back and you go, I can go left and right with no problems. It, it does work in the websites as well. When you 
open a website and something outside the website browser or the browser edge, the horizontal scroll will, will help you out to move left and right. One app, sadly, that the horizontal scroll wheel just don't want to work is a Time Master, and it is a bit of sad for me. So if I'm gonna go into, let's say, this video when I'm editing, if I'm going here, and I wanna scroll through the timeline, if I'm gonna use the horizontal scroll wheel, it's just not gonna go left and right. And it is, it is annoying me a bit because this is the app that I wish the horizontal scroll wheel will work but sadly it doesn't another thing where the thumb button do work and it is in shadow pc so let me quickly connect to my shadow pc and i'll come back when it's done so i'm connecting to a shadow pc and i set it up to show 1080p resolution for easy to you for, for you to see exactly what's happening so if you are using a samsung dex in your shadow pc uh, service subscriber you will know how sometimes it's frustrating to switch between the programs. So I have a Chrome browser working in the full screen on the shadow PC, and I do have FileZilla FTP client running and a Putty SSH client running. So how to switch between them? So what on Windows you can do, you press Alt-Tab, and okay, great, I might use Alt-Tab, but instead what is happening is changing inside the DeX, but not what's running inside the shadow PC. If I'm gonna try to do it the other way, it's, it's the Windows tab is gonna do the similar thing, but still in a DeX. You can't really switch with all tab, uh, all tab between the programs inside Shadow PC. That's where the thumb button works. So I have a, like I said, a Chrome browser running. So if I press the button, I do have here go an option which one to choose. So I'm gonna say, okay, FileZilla, press again. Let's open Putty, press again, let's open browser. If I press and start using tab, if I have more than three, let's say I have 10 or so programs running, I can start pressing the tab. So I'm gonna say, right, I want for Zilla, press space. And that's what it is, okay. So the thumb button doesn't work on DeX. Well, it does work, but it's not really usable, but it's very usable and very useful on the Shadow PC. On the other hand, the horizontal scroll wheel, back button, forward button does work on the DeX, but it doesn't work on a shadow PC. So on one in one environment, let's say DeX, you're winning but losing on the other, and you're winning on the other but losing on a Samsung DeX. So it's a bit give or take uh, a scenario happening here. But overall, it's, the mouse overall is very, very useful for my personal use for what I'm doing with Samsung DeX. I'm not regretting even for one second purchasing anything with mouse. It is a bit pricey. I paid a thing less of around 50 British pounds where I can buy, let's say, Amazon basic alternative to this mouse. But uh, I trust Logitech company. I know this mouse is a superb because I, saw, I, I, I watched a couple of reviews on, about this mouse and um, the YouTubers and the tech reviewers that I, I, I trust they recommending this mouse so i said okay let's just basically let's try to buy this mouse and see if it's gonna work on dex as i expect not everything 100 works I'm, I'm this thumb button i'm not really happy that is what it does i wish to have the other functionality and i wish was somehow option for me to remap the buttons would be great but overall i'm really happy with this mouse i'm not regretting so i hope this video answers your question if this mouse is useful for samsung dex user and if it's not, well, um, there's obviously alternatives like, uh, like I said, Amazon Basic, which costs almost half the price of this. If you are an MX Master user, please leave a comment in the comment section below. How are you finding this mouse with a Samsung DeX? Is it useful for you? What kind of apps do you know that will work with horizontal scroll wheel? Because I just found out a couple of like our browsers, Excel. I'm a bit sad that it doesn't work in Time Master, but just let me know in the comment section below if you are a user of MX Master uh, mouse and if you are regretting or not in purchasing this. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.